Tim, welcome. For the first time, trade is on the agenda at COP, but why is that? Why now? Well, I think the pace of global decarbonisation's got to a stage where it's simply now impossible for the climate and trade agendas to exist in isolation from one another. I think countries and companies are realising that we need global trade to decarbonise, uh, but also we need to decarbonise global trade. How are regulations shifting the balance of global trade? Well, we're starting to see new regulations like the EU's carbon border adjustment mechanism that extends the long-standing concept of carbon pricing to imports. And that's really critical because for the first time, these rules will incentivize the decarbonisation of global supply chains in energy intensive sectors such as steel, aluminium and cement. And where are the opportunities for a competitive advantage for business leaders in this shifting environment? Well, there are a number. Firstly, those that move ahead of the game to decarbonise their own operations will continue to be competitive in developed markets that are setting higher climate standards like Europe and the United States. But secondly, what we're also seeing is the growth in the technology and the products needed to decarbonise, things like green hydrogen, for example, uh, or green energy, and that ought to be a focus for investment for competitive advantage. Tim, thank you so much.